Knit One, Heart Two, two. Episode One Fifty Two. I'm Sheila, also known as Sheila D Thirty Seven, and I'm Wendy, also known as Penny Wendy. And if you are new to the show, thanks for checking us out. And if you're a return viewer, thank you for coming back. We appreciate it all the time. We do. Um, we have one thing. Shout out. Yeah, we have. Uh, we're going to announce the winner for the Anna Cacowl at the end of the show. And uh, we'll also mention something else at the end of the show. Well, probably in future dates. Is yeah. Probably we'll mention it. We're going um, to do a knit along. We don't usually do knit alongs, but we're going to do a knit along. We're going to do a knit along. Yeah. Yeah. A specific knit along. So we'll announce that during the show. And we'll make a thread for it in um, the group. I'm taking apart a sock. I didn't knit it, so it doesn't feel. <laughs> was dead. this the toe? That was the toe. Look was it a thin. man sock? I have no idea. A friend of ours uh, gave me some yarn a couple of that years is ago. Really thin. What is this yarn? I don't even remember. And she said she didn't like the yarn. She had made a whole sock, and she goes, "If you can, just knit." <laughs> Bless you. The second sock. I'm like, yeah, that wouldn't fit over my foot, and I don't know whose foot it would fit over. Yeah, it's real thin. So I'm just ripping it out now. Because <laughs> I went three steps. Sorry, I have cats. But I'm allergic to them. You think I'd take my allergy And meds. for whatever reason, Oscar is, you can't see him, but he is right behind the camera. Like, right. In fact, if you see the camera wobble, that is because he is touching the computer laptop with his head. There he goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, right, I'm touching him right now. I don't know what his deal Hi. is. Hi. Hi, kitty. He just needs some loving and attention. He has been very um, attention hungry lately, and I'm not sure why. So um, I'm going first this you week. You are. And the primary thing that, well, the only thing, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. The only thing that I knit on this week was the... The um, Star Leaf Shawl by Beautiful. Jenny Jonan Johnson Jonan Jonan Johnson. Now I can't remember her J-J-J. name. J J J. Jenny Johnson Jonan Jonan Johnson. And um, I have thirteen pattern rows left, plus the um, reverse row. So twenty six rows left, and I'll be done. And what's the amount of stitches roughly? Oh Lord, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm gonna guess at least 400 stitches, really? maybe 500. It's a lot of stitches. I'm gonna try to move it out so help? you can see it. So um, yeah, it's gotten way too big for the needles at this point. Oh. So there it is, and it's pretty. It's hard to see it, but if I go behind there, you can see it a little bit better. Um, I'm starting to panic that I would run out of beads, so I went to South Pass Beads on Etsy, and I ordered the um, crystal beads that I'm using for the for the shawl. There's a couple of stitch markers in there. There used to be center stitch markers, but at some point you remove them, so um, on the edging doesn't yeah. have a center. So anyway, yeah, I had originally bought my beads from Auntie's Beads. If you watched the show earlier, you would have heard me say that. And um, I had probably 40 beads left, 50 beads left in here. And I, I think it was going to be close whether I was going to be able to Do make Do you not it. use them so much on the edge? You don't. Um, there was like... Uh, like half of the remaining rows are um, oh, the nubs, uh, the noops, so they don't have any beading in them. But I just realized that I was getting uncomfortably close. These are very sparkly, generic kind of. They could go with everything because they're clear. So it was worth it to buy another thing of beads. So I went on to Ani's Beads, and they were all out. So then I went to my local bead store, which is down the street, and she was like, yeah, I'm all out. I would have to order them. And I was thinking, Did you, you try know, AC more just out of curiosity? Yeah, they don't have, these are very specific. Oh, they right. haven't, I didn't know this. I just picked them out because I like the way that they look. But um, they're crystal. They have an AB finish. I don't know what that means, but it's different than a matte uh, finish or a regular finish. There's matte, regular, and AB. AB, I think, it makes it more rainbowy or sparkly or something. Yeah, I don't I know. So. And they have silver in the, um, yeah. be in the center. And so I went online every place that I looked. Like, I looked at five different places. They were all out of these beads. Like, I don't know what happened. There's some kind of a crystal bead shortage going on. But I found a lady on Etsy that had them. That was South Pass Beads. 
Um, and like I said, I just needed another, I probably only needed like another 30 beads, but I, now I have more than enough to finish this project. But I'm starting to panic that I'm going to run out of yarn. <laughs> and that's because noops take up a lot of yarn, and I uh, only have this much left. I think you'll be fine. I think I will be too, but I'm just panicking. You know, now, like now I'm nervous about that. Um, and I totally would have been finished with this project this week, <coughs> but I had a very bad headache <coughs> off and on for like four days. And um, a couple of those days, I couldn't do anything at all. My head hurt so bad. Like, I just had to lay with a cloth over my eyes. And um, I think it's from sinuses. So I did not get as much knitting done on this. But I really like it. I'm doing doing the... There's a series of noops on um, this section. You can see them. Um, I have, like, four more rows are of the noops, and they don't have any beading. And then there'll be one more row of leaves with um, beads and stuff in it. And then the edge. So <coughs> very, very close. Excuse me. And just to give you an idea of how big it is, this is <coughs> about halfway. And that's not even fully stretched out. <coughs> it's, imagine twice this is how wide that is pretty wide are you gonna be all right you there? know what it is what double team between him and the dust oh from the sock mm -hmm. that's exactly what it is oh yeah don't I'm even though that. well it's been in a plastic bag but it literally has been it's got to be two or three years so that one the star leaf shawl that's my number one project i also did take this project out again it's an oldie buddy goodie <laughs> this is aquaphobia socks and it's an Into the World Pokoku sock in the Pooling Muse colorway. And I did take them out because I had a meetup with a friend, which I'm going to talk about in um, Gossip and Innuendo. So um, not a lot. I only did a few stitches on them, but they are out again in my little happy pig bag. I love this bag. <coughs> Stitched by Jess Lou pig bag <coughs> with birdies on the inside. Love this bag. I don't know if she can if she can get this material anymore. But I'm a, know, I'm a big it. fan of pink and blue, so I love this bag. Did you see on Instagram somebody made a pink? I did. That what was, was Phoebe Kins, and it was so cute. So cute. I loved it. If you're watching this, Phoebe Kins, love the pig. So, um, yep, yeah, that's all I have for On the Needles. Not a lot. Um, I finished my socks. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to call this Sneezy Wheezy Sheila. That is what this is going to be called. So I've been working on my sock. Uh, I finished that. So that was the majority of my knitting. Yeah. So last night I worked my overnight shift and I worked, um, I was looking like crazy for something to cast on. Yeah. <laughs> but I said no, no casting on. What I did do is I changed my needles on my clap of tea. I was using Susan Bates. Which are very good needles. Right. Just, I wasn't feeling the love with this project. I'm not sure why. Yeah. So I changed to my Addy Turbos that I have. And so it must be the needles because this is how much I knit. Yeah. It makes a big difference I knit when like the needle eight is repeats. working for you, you know? That's a lot. Eight yeah. repeats. And she still has a ton of yarn left. This is how much yarn I have. It was 600 something yards. So that's a lot. Yep, um, looks like I need to stick some in here, <laughs> my ball winder. Uh, this is how big it is. It's actually, probably. It's pretty big. Yeah. It's a, it's a full-size scarf. I mean, once it was blocked, it would, you could do it. You'll lose a little length when it blocks out because the when you pull it sideways, it'll shorten right. it a little bit. But yeah, it's still going to be a good length. I even right if you stop right now. I'm not going to stop because I have no other use yeah, for this what yarn. Yeah, would you do? I would use it all up and then you can. And I it have, around. like I said, I have it knotted somewhere about where I should start their decrease, and it should be coming up soon, I think. Yeah. But this, I want to say, was a 600 plus yardage of yarn. It's Seacoast hand. Hand paints. Yeah, silk and wool. Ivory silk. 
But what's funny, and I don't know if it was my gauge. Can you see the pooling? Oh, yeah. Nowhere else. Huh. So, and then it stopped, and then it started pooling again. So somehow, my gauge, it has to be my gauge. I either started knitting tighter or looser during the course of the evening. My guess is when you start going fast, you start getting tight. Yeah. So I think that's what I did. So I was consciously trying to loosen up. It's not, you're not going to notice it because here's a little bit of pooling here. Once it's, you, you can't Once, even... Yeah, no, you won't notice it at all. So that is what's active on my needles right now. Cool. And I'm excited because now it's like I want to get it done. done. Yeah. That's a good thing. how long I've been working on this thing. I feel like I've been working on it forever. And I have been working on it since. Not as long as I've been working on those aquaphobia socks. No. <laughs> Or my fused sweater, which nope. I just can't even bring myself to look at. November 17th, I've been working on this. I don't know. See? That's longer than your fused sweater, I think. Nowhere near as long as the no. socks. <laughs> no, no. Seacoast hand painted silk and ivory. It's a uh, wool, 50-50 wool blend silk, 667 yards. Wow, that's a lot. 20 people have it stashed, and only 14 projects were made out of this yard. And <laughs> a couple of them are clappatees. That's a good yarn for clappity. It's got good drape. It does have good drape. And oh, trouble's good back. Good for around the neck. Here comes Oscar again. So, it's that's like all I have. Himself. Okay, so um, that's on the dance card. Yep. Um, rate your date. Rate your date. I got nothing to rate. I get a pair of socks, and I love it. When I look over the computer, I see a foot. Yeah. <laughs> He's having a bath right behind the camera. Well, at least it's not in front of the camera. Yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> it could be way worse. Nobody needs to see that. So this is my Rye Socks by Tin Can Knits. I like those. It's in worsted weight with Dream and Color Classy. Classy, right? Mm -hmm. Go, go, go. Go, go, classy okay. with Liberty, just a green. I don't think Liberty, Classic Elite Liberty Wool. I don't think it had a name for it. No, I think it's just green. It's kind of funny because um, I'm glad. I, I, I think a blue would have looked really good in this. But my second sock, I was at work doing yeah. a heel turn and picking up the stitches for the gusset. Didn't pay attention. I picked up the stitches with the green color. Yeah. Can't even tell. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sugar. Yeah. It's right here. You can... No, it looks exactly the same. You can't even tell. It's right here. I picked up stitches. You can barely tell. Um, so I wore these yesterday. To work, and I took them off when I took a shower this morning, and I'm like, oh, as much as I'd like to put them on again, <laughs> I, I won't. I don't think you want, I don't think I can put my foot up here, but I don't think you want to see my foot. So um, I would definitely do this pattern again. What I liked about it when you're doing top down, I would probably do it toe up. Yeah. But what was nice is I could count the ridges to know how far I needed to go for the second sock. Oh, yeah. Good idea. So, um. I really liked this pattern, and I did 56 stitches because 48 was too tight. It was too tight. It wasn't even fitting around my kid's foot. Yeah. So, but that could be me. I did this on size 4 needles. Um, you do I like, have a wide instep. I have a wide ball, I'd yeah. call it, a ball on my foot. I have a bit of a, I wouldn't call it a bunion, but it certainly is it's a just wider wide foot. There. yeah. Um, I don't wear wide shoes, but it is wider than normal, and I'd really like to have it more comfortable than not. So, and I tend to knit them tighter so that they last a little right. longer. But 56 stitches are perfect. I put the wool away for now just because I'm done with it for now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, though, doing the two colors, a lot to weave in. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. No, it That's wasn't. the downside. But it's all weaved in. The Kitchener stitch is done. Oh, the one thing I think I did mess up, and I didn't notice it. I kept trying to figure out till when I decreased for the Kitchener. Right. My second sock, I decreased too much. Oh, yeah. But it's a toe. Who cares? It's going to be in your shoe. Yep. Yep. It's Only in my you shoe. will know. Yep. And I, I honestly don't care. Oh, so, so I got another pair of finished socks. And my feet were nice and toasty just in time because apparently we're getting a snowstorm. Some kind of a blizzard tomorrow. <laughs> Whatever. And I'll be driving in the middle of it on Wednesday. Hooray. Yay. That's when it's going to be at its worst. Yeah. 
Yeah, whatever. It's going to snow again. But it won't last. Probably could probably get away without even shoveling. Yeah. Unless well, we need to get out of there. Gonna, it, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I need to shovel to get out of the ground. Amy right from now. Spunky Eclectic tweeted this week that it's now snowing every Thursday. She's like, it's just going to snow every Thursday from now on. That's going to be weird in July. That A little me bit. Up so much. I'm like, yep, I guess that's just the way that it is. Yeah, it's just going to snow every week. Sure, why not? So that's it for Rate Your Date. Um, I do have a whirlwind romance project. And I'm jealous of the color. I know. Well, I showed it last week. It's called Blackbird by um, Fiber Optic. And as you can see, I've done most of it's four ounce braid. I've done most of it on here. It started out black, went into a dark green, and then is slowly working its way from the green into um, a bright teal. Can't wait to see what that looks so like. So you can it's see fun. it's a bit brighter. At the end than what I'm currently working on. I just have to show you this. My cat pulled my fiber was attached to the wheel. My cat pulled it off and um, played with it. <laughs> it's it didn't destroy it, which is good. No, he just played with it. <laughs> I can still spin with it. Um, but yeah, he is obsessed with fiber. Ollie, my cat Ollie. Um, and I had th I was telling Sheila I had three Hello Yarn club bumps. Each in an individual plastic bag like this, in a larger plastic bag, and I had taken photographs of everything this week. I still have to put them in my thing. And um, I had them on my stairs to go up into my big stash. And he took all three bags out of the big plastic bag, and then he took each of the fiber bumps out of the little plastic bag, and he did the same thing to them. That's funny. <laughs> I came downstairs and there's just a trail of fiber in there. He doesn't wreck them though. I, he just plays with them. That's he likes to play with them. Well, it's not. I don't want well, him doing that. Know, but, but at least he doesn't, doesn't ruin them. it. So yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Um, this is probably an ounce. It's not very much left to do. Um, so I did get a lot of spinning done. Um, I mentioned last week I was having some trouble with the BFL. Actually, I think I just showed the braid last week. I hadn't mm. started done it, doing it. For those of you who have watched the show for a long time, um, I had a really hard time spinning this Polworth silk that I had. Here comes Oscar. <laughs> this is Oscar. Well, for some reason, who is it's just, just obsessed with to us me. today. Have a seat, buddy. So anyway, um, yeah, I had trouble with it, and I had a hellish time spinning that um, death to ovarian cancer colorway for Ooh. Sheila that I did. And he goes looking into my needle and he almost poked his eye out uh, with my needle. He just wants some love. And so um, this time, I, and I then I had done some BFL silk and it wasn't so bad. Well, I struggled with this at first. And um, after talking on Instagram about it and getting some good tips from Coggy from High Fire by Fiber Diet, Diet, she said she used to have trouble with it, and she told me how she did very low tension. Mm. I messed around okay. with my wheel, and I found that if I spin silk blends on the second to slowest whirl and with absolutely no tension, I can spin the way that I like to, oh, and good. it doesn't, like, yank out of my hand. So I've been enjoying spinning it. I figured it out. So, um... Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> he's biting my ring. Why? Yeah, I know, because he's naughty. <laughs> You're stealing the show! All right, get down! You know, I'm just getting, I'm getting my cat fixed, even though I'm allergic to my So anyway, home. this should be done today or tomorrow, if I have time to finish it up. So my next up is going to be Dragon's Blood. That's pretty. It is a three ounce bat from um, Enchanted Knoll Farm, Josette McWilliams. It's wool, sparkle, and sari silk. And I hope you can see how pretty it is. I bought this, I think I bought this at, um, at Whatchamajiggy, at, um, Spa. No. You sure? I don't think I got this one at Spa. I think I got this one at um, Rhinebeck. Mm, maybe. Because I did buy a bat of hers at Rhinebeck, and I think that was it. I'm not sure. I only have one bump of it. Well, I'm not 100% sure. I might have two. I can only find one. One might be in my stash. So before I start, I need to look because that'll change how I 
spin it. How I spin it, yeah. But I think I, I think I remember just buying the one bat, and um, I'm going to spin it as thin as I can, and um, it'll be for, like, some kind of a scarf or a shawl or something because um, it's so sparkly and pretty. It's not really going to be something for, like, socks or... No. 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 So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. That's going to be my palette cleanser. And then I'm going to try to spin that... Um, yeah, but Death you, to ovarian cancer. But yours wasn't polar silk, though. Yeah. Yours is a different fiber. No. Well, I they're thought it both was. the same. All right. I thought it was a different fiber. No, they're both the same. No. Um, but I'm going to go back to that. And then um, if I finish it, I'm going to use it for the knit along. Which we haven't mentioned yet. I know, but okay. we will. So um, that's what's up next on Whirlwind Romance. Future dates. Future dates. Um, my only date right now, until it's done, is this shawl. Um, I have the socks out in case I need a little break. But I really, like I said last week, I really want to get this done and washed and blocked so I can evaluate whether I need to make it bigger or not. Here comes Oscar again. He cannot stay away. He knows I'm allergic to him, that's why. I know. I'm going to shove my face in Sheila's nose. I know. Make her sneeze and sneeze and sneeze and sneeze. So, um, yeah, for right now, this is the only thing that I'm focusing on. And once I get this done, I have to finish that cardigan, and then I can start doing casting on again. <laughs> so that's it for me. For me, um, I am just working on the clappity because I'm almost done. Yeah. There's like an end at the, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. So this is my, not mindless enough, but it's simple enough that I know where the pattern is that if I'm at work, I can and need to put it down. I can put it down without worrying about too much of yeah. where it is. So I'm going to be bringing this to work and hopefully get done with it. I really want to get it done. Like I said, I only have a little left. Then um, what I'm going to do is um, I've talked about knitting with my death to ovarian cancer skein of yarn that you spun for me. Mm -hmm. And the winner... Which is a CJ Kopak uh, design. Cre uh, yeah, yeah, creation um, um, bump. So what made me decide to do this is we're going to do a knit along for the Annika Cowell. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. It's going to be, you know, just casual. And uh, it's going to go through the end of April when you post your pictures. This is This is going to be... One that chat and post pictures. Right. But we will draw names. Only from the pictures. Only from the pictures. So, so only, post only from one finished picture, pictures. But you can chat about the pattern and stuff and other people's stuff. You can chat in the thread. Yeah. But just post a finished one picture. photograph of a finished picture in the thread. So and that will start when I put up the thread at some point this week. Uh, but I'm going to use my death to ovarian cancer. I wish I brought it. I, I didn't think about it. I was going to do a different project, but when I saw the winner and what she said she would use to make it, I'm yeah. like, you know what? I think that's a good idea. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast on for that. i got to wind it first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of helps. Yeah, you want to know how much yardage you have. Well, you wrote it down. Oh, I did? Oh, good for me. Yeah, but that's one that I think you just knit until you run out, really. Really, you can. Kind of. Yeah. So that, I'm going to start that once I wind it, um, but I want to finish this clap of tea. Every so time hopefully... you say clap of tea, I think cup of tea. Sorry. No. <laughs> Just me. And so I'm going to post a thread, and then we'll have uh, we'll draw a prize for it. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't do knit alongs too often. So. so you can get the, if you want to participate, you can get the Annika Cowell um, on Ravelry. It's, what is it, $3? Yeah, I think it's $3. Yes. And the person who won the um, d the PDF contest can use their copy to join in the knit along. Yeah. Um, I thought you'd put a link to it, but I guess you didn't. Oh, I didn't. Huh. No. That's not. <laughs> Sorry, people. Yeah, we are actually had to cut out a few seconds or a few minutes of this show because she was oh sneezing God. so bad. <laughs> so in the beginning of the show you noticed I was winding yarn. I put that away for now because I think that was that not was helping it. Because I unfortunately am allergic to dust and dust mites as well as cat hair. Yeah. So and, that was the uh, double whammy today. This looks like a bull. 
I know it does. Sorry. <laughs> so um, that's my future dates for right now. Yeah, that's my future dates. Okay. Um, crushes and heartbreaks. Um, my big heartbreak this week was that I had that headache for days and days and days. It really like totally screwed with my schedule. I almost didn't go over to play with my baby niece because it was oh. so bad. Like it was just like when it was, it was very strange, which is why I think it, at first I thought it was a migraine, but because it would like get better for hours and then come back again, I think it's sinus related. And, um, it was just like when it was bad, I couldn't do anything except lie in a darkened room. Right. And then it would go away and I'd be like, oh, thank God. And then I'd have like four or five hours where I felt fine and then it would start up again. So um, hopefully that's over with. But that was that was my big um, heartbreak this week. My crush is that my husband finished my living room. I know. Room. I saw it. looks Doesn't good. it look nice? It looks so much better than before. It looks nice. You know, and you can't see the, like, giant things over the windows anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we got them all smoothed out. So that worked out. Um, so now I have my living room back. And yeah. um, now we have to have somebody in to do the kitchen floor. And then we'll paint the dining room in the kitchen. So. Oh, good. <sighs> we're getting there. I don't think we're going to get our house on the market this year. But I am happy that we're slowly getting some of this stuff down. Oh, good. So, um, those are my crushes and heart. Oh, wait, I forgot. Well, I'll talk. I guess my crush is that I met up with um, Bindi J from our group, Rav group. But I'll talk about it a little more and gossip and innuendo. Okay. We had a nice meetup. Good. Uh, my crushes and heartbreaks. Um, I went to the doctor. Wendy will be glad to hear this. I am I, glad. <laughs> I finally will be scheduling a mammogram because I haven't had one yet. I'm 43 years old and I yeah. really should... She have should have one. been having one for the last three years, but whatever. Yeah, I have history. My mom passed away of my own cancer, so. And Zachary's got cancer. I'm kind of sandwiched in between. I should really make sure I'm healthy. But um, So I had an appointment, not for that, but just in general, and he said, overall, I look good. Yep. So that's um, good. So that is good. Uh, a small little crush, really, really teeny, but for anyone whose husband doesn't help out, this is big for me. Mm -hmm. So I pulled out some pork last Wednesday. I was going to cook it Wednesday night for dinner on Thursday night. I was just tired. I had some errands. I didn't get home late. I didn't even eat dinner, really, because I yeah. had to go to bed. So then Thursday, I'm like, oh, I go to my son. I said, pull out the pork. I'll marinate it for a little bit before Daddy gets home, and then I'll fry it up when he calls me and says he's on his way. My husband already marinated it. Oh, that I'm like, was awesome. oh my gosh, it, it was good. I mean, he marinated it with this fish sauce, which is a Vietnamese thing. A little salty. It, like, it marinated too long. Yeah. But... but it was still good, so I can't really complain, and all I did was basically fry him up. Uh, so that's a small little crush. We take it when we can get it. That's right. Um, that's about it, I guess. No heartbreaks, really. Yeah. I went out for dinner with my friend. Actually, Friday night... Um, my son had a boys' night, and he wanted his dad to go with him. Aw. Yeah, which is fine, because Max's boys' night, I was with him for both years. Yeah. So I'm hoping Zachary will want Cam with him. But Friday night, it was a date night for Max and I. We had a lot of fun. We went to 99. Oh, yeah. That's and fun. then Saturday, I had a, uh, I can't call it a date. I went out with a friend of mine. It happens to be a guy. But a dinner date. With a a dinner date with a friend. And we had a lot of fun. We were there. We were at Bertucci's for like over four hours. Oh, good. <laughs> we had a lot of fun catching up. And I want to congratulate him. He got a new job. Yeah. And he needed to get a new job. This other job was just a pain for him. So Good for him. And uh, so I'm excited for him. And that's it. That's it. Nothing exciting in my world. And uh, status quo for the lab. We haven't heard anything, so no news is but good But you news. have feelers out there. So I do have feelers positive. out there, but yeah, no news is good news with my job. Right. So we'll so see. Yeah. So um, that's it for um, Crushes and Heartbreaks, Bobbles and Bling. The only Bobbles and Bling that I have to show this week are my beads. Um, and I, mm. I still have to order the footman for my wheel that I threw away last week. Oh, you haven't ordered it yet? No. Something popped up on the screen. I have this program called Dropbox that they made me, they, the PTO made me get this, that wasn't even the PTO, the fifth grade committee at my kid's school made me get this Dropbox so that I could give these um, 
photos in for the yearbook because they're making a fifth grade yearbook for my kids. Oh, we've done that many Lord years. knows. Whatever. So I had to put these photos in it and I signed up for Dropbox and now like people keep, like I guess I'm on there when, so people keep sending me stuff by Dropbox and a little thing comes on my screen. So. I don't know. I don't know. That could have been from um, Stephanie. Oh, that was the other Bobbles and Bling. I don't have it to show, but one of my favorite designers, Stephanie Talent, is coming oh. out with a new um, book. It's going to be a PDF, and it's a series of um, Western themed, and don't Ooh. get the wrong idea, <laughs> not like woo-hoo-hoo cowboy, but like Southwestern, Western themed um uh, projects and the first installment is the lace and it's oh. it's amazing it's an awesome book I'm gonna do a review on it I I need to get um, a PDF file from her which that could have been the PDF file oh, right. coming into my Dropbox and um, she said that we can have a contest and somebody can win I just I don't know what that was oh, right. I stepped on something somebody can win a copy of the um the book the book Great. so the PDF book so it's gonna be really exciting um I love she's just very eclectic in her designs I know I saw the lookbook so I know that upcoming there's gonna be some color work stuff there's gonna be nice. some cabley stuff but the first installment is is the lacy stuff and there's a lot of things in there that I think people are really gonna like um. And she's just really an interesting designer, so I'm looking forward to that. But I don't have anything to show you because I don't have a PDF. I just have Dropbox files. <laughs> okay. So um, that's it for my baubles and blings. I have nothing. Um, do I? No. No. I never have anything. <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way, um, but I did go through my stash, so... I feel like I did do shopping because I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot this. I found yarn that I didn't even have cataloged in any which way or form. Somebody had given it to us, and I, when I come here, I stick things in bags if we have, right. if we were given things. Don't see them for months sometimes. Like this yarn was that I had was stuck in a bag. I forgot all about it that I was winding earlier. Well, I think people have noticed that every time I do a stash or I find at least a pound of fiber and at least five or ten skeins of yarn that I never cataloged. Yeah, so I tried to catalog it and put pictures of all my yarn. Um, yeah, I have to do a little of that. I have a bunch of stuff that I have a bunch of Hello Yarn Club fiber that hasn't been cataloged. I kept stacking it in my um fiber drawer thing pantry thing over there and not putting it in mm. and then I looked and I'm like how come I only have two club things of hello yarn because I have like eight of them at this point um. so I had to go in and do that and I found another one down on the floor this morning so I missed one I gotta take a picture of that well, it's funny. I mean, we're, we're, this is kind of going into the gossip and innuendo because it's not bottles right. and flames, this is, but we're in gossip so, and innuendo yeah, um, which is kind of free for all at this point <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, Sunday yesterday yes. or Saturday, I don't remember. It must have been Saturday because I feel like it was earlier. Um, we were cleaning up the house. We were going through things that needed to be filed, what could be thrown away. Right. Because uh, we had a bunch of kid stuff that could be thrown away. And um, so I decided to go through my stash. Let me go through my stash and pull out all the stuff I don't want and give to my friend so she can knit with it. That's a, I've already done that how many times? And since I haven't added to the stash, right. there's really nothing else to give away. That get, There's a lot to give away, don't get me wrong. Right. But, but do I really want to give it away? you don't want to give it away. That's how I feel because yeah, you know I pared down my sock yarn. Well, I you gave, gave it to away my, almost half of my sock yarn stash. But see, that kind of works in your advantage left, because you end up getting socks But now I'm it. down to the ones that I don't want to give away because I really like them. But you'll mm -hmm. never use them either. Probably not. <laughs> so I was looking at, like, I had forgotten about um, the nice viewer who, get, who gave me some Gypsy Girl creations. Oh, right. That was shoved in a bag. And uh, I know, I think I know exactly what I'm going to make with that. Uh, not a pair of socks. I have so much sock yarn that I just can't knit all of them with socks. Right. So I think I'm going to do your shawl. The two, oh, um, yeah. Good idea. No, what was it? Ruby Slipper Ruby Shawl. Slippers. And it's called Limelight Loop. It's got these bright greens. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm like, pretty. oh, I can see that. So pretty. 
and then I forgot that when I went to Rhinebeck two years ago, I bought one skein of Gypsy Girl Creations. Oh, that's right. To make a cowl or something with. Mm. Um, so I got a lot of cowls that I need to make with these yarns. But I just look at all the stuff and I'm like, not enough time in the world to knit. <laughs> that's why I'm happy that I finally got into my spinning again. Um, and I have to say, it's a lot easier now that I don't have a dog that chews my wheel. Yeah. Um, to have, because I can just leave my wheel out. Right. And I don't have to put it away every time. And, um, but I have so much fiber. And now I feel like a kid in the candy store. I'm like, well, I have like a million things I could spin. So that's really good. And that's, I'm going to try to do 15 minutes a week is my, my, my goal. Like I would like to do that. My minimum. And, um, but I would like to try to reach for like maybe a, a, even a bump a week, you know, try to get four ounces a week done. That would be good. If I could, or even like, at least like try to get like three bumps a month. Hi, Oscar. <laughs> it's me and the Oscar show. <laughs> Oscar's butt show. Just have a seat, buddy. So, I, I really think that this um, Dropbox document wants to be read. I think. <laughs> Please read this first. Please read this first. I'm dying to know who that's from. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, um, that's my... I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I did want to mention that um, one of our group members, Bindi J, who is one of my taste twins and the queen of enabling... Um, yes. came into town with her husband, um, for, a, for a, it's a long story why they came into town, but they ended up being in town from Sunday and they flew out on Thursday. Oh, okay. So I arranged, I was texting with her and I arranged to meet up with her and her husband at Copley Mall, which still exists. I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Oh, yeah. I haven't been there in like nine oh, years. Oh, so with the Boston Marathon, they do that the Sunday before the marathon or the Saturday before the marathon. You go to the Copley with the patients. Oh, yeah. Two I, children. I, I was like, I mean, I have literally, it's probably, it's been at least six years and probably more like eight or nine years since I've actually been in the Copley Mall. Oh, no. I but I knew it. that um, it was easy for me to get there by the orange line because it's yeah. like right across the street. So. Um, Why don't you do a park at Wellington? Yeah, I did, because there was no way I could get parking. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Grove, no. So I, I took the subway in. I met up with them there. They took a cab from their hotel, because they were staying in Beacon Hill. Oh, right. And um, we spent the afternoon poking around. Um, oh, her cool. husband, Bob, is the sweetest man you'll ever meet. Um, and he's the same age as my dad, but he looks so much younger. <laughs> and um, Bindi, so much fun. Um, I gave her one of our pins, and I don't have it right by me, but she gave me um, margarita-flavored lip balm, oh. and she knit me a little washcloth oh, for nice. the bag. So, um, you know, just we just were, you know, little things. But um, we poked around, and then we walked over to the Prudential, and they took me out to lunch. He's just staring at He's you staring. intently like you're going to give him fish. What, buddy? He wants a dungeon. And um, so they took me out to lunch to Legal Seafood, where we had the most oh. delicious appetizer. Which is? It's called Bang Bang Cauliflower. And I know that Legal Seafood has had Bang Bang Shrimp, which is fried shrimp with Kung Pao. Oh, all right. But this is tempura fried cauliflower with Kung Pao sauce. Oh, we had yeah. it on the side. It was delicious. Tempura Sounds fried good. cauliflower is delicious. So if anybody lives near Legal Seafood, get right. that appetizer. It was so delicious. But I had the nicest time with them. They're just a really fun couple, really sweet. Um, she lives up where I'm from, up in the Midwest. Oh, all right. But they winter in Florida. So oh. they went back to Florida right before we had that cold snap last week. Good for week. them. <laughs> but um, I just had a lovely time with her. It was awesome. Okay. It's She's one of those people that we've met through doing the podcast that are just, you know. Like Genuine. If, well, and like people that if I had met them in my real life, I would be friends with. Right. I just think it's it's interesting. And, and just, I think like-minded people are brought together by knitting and by Ravelry yeah. and by the podcast. So it's always really wonderful when you meet somebody who's just like, 
like I immediately felt comfortable with her. Right. So that was really nice, and we had a lovely time. And there's a possibility that they might be coming back to stay for longer. So if they do, I'm telling you right now, Bindi, I'm taking you to Webb's. Oh, absolutely. Because you would love Webb's. (laughs) But they had that. She had a wonderful time. She said everybody in Boston was so polite to them. Um, She has a walker, so everybody was really helpful, and you know, making it easy for her to get around and. Oh, good. Yeah, it was awesome. So thank you for looking me up, Bindi, when you came into town. And I hope that you come back and we'll do, we'll have fun. So that was a good thing. We should draw for our contest. We did. Number 39, random number dot uh, Random dot number generated. Number, uh, two, two, two through 39, and the winner was number 35, MGO1999. Uh, I did not check to see what her real name was. I apologize. But she said she would knit the Annika cowl with hand spun. Cool. That's what made me think maybe we should have a knit along because I'm going to be using, not my hand spun because I didn't spin it, but it is hand spun. I spun it for her and I am going to try to use the same hand spun for mine if I can get it done in time. So, um, which I should be able to because you made the con- the contest run out for a month. I yeah. should be able to get to that by then. So anyone who wants to join the knit along and uh, MGO 1999. I, I will send too. your information to Suzanne Morrison Gavro, Suzanne MG, um, the designer who will um, forward you a copy. forward you a copy of the pattern. And I hope that people do knit along with it because it looks like a lot of fun and it really makes a pretty cowl. And it's good for scraps, which I was thinking yes. of using on my scrap wool. But I'm going to do something else because... Um, it's good for multicolored yarn, variegated yarn. It's good for semi-solid it's good for yarn. Anything. It's good for using up scrap yarn. It's it's a very versatile pattern. And she gives it, I think, two different weights. So you have some flexibility in that, too. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to uh, that. Um, once again, all of the festivals that are upcoming in our area and that we plan on attending are in the... Um, Blog notes on the um, on the blog in the show notes on the blog. Um, so and when I do the link in our group, I link to the page of the blog. I don't know if people know this because people have different ways of getting the show. But when I link the show in the Ravelry group, I link to the page where the show notes are. So if you are interested in looking at the show notes, you can go on there. Also, I did want to show one thing at the end of the show. Um, I had some people ask about it. This is the travel cape that I bought at Rhinebeck. It is designed by Thayer Syme, and you can order one. It's signed, number 55. See? Oh, yeah. Um, it's handmade out of hardwood. It's gorgeous. Um, Thayer's wife is a knitter, and he made, uh, a knitter and a spinner, and he, she needed a um, traveling cape, and he made one for her. And it was so nice that people started asking her where they could get one. So now he makes them. They're all custom made. And um, you can get one at www.travelkate.com is their website. And I just wanted to show it to you. I've shown it before, but um, somebody, like I said, a few people have inquired about it. So it's just flat like this. And it has these two little hooks on the ends. And you lift it up. And put the hooks down so that they catch on the um, on the sides like that. And that keeps it from popping backwards. And you can see the holes on it. Um, the smaller holes are for these posts. You put them in and you put your bobbin on there. And it's a um, 45 degree angle. And then the larger holes are for these amazing violin knobs that you can, they have a hole in them and you can put um, string in them to use as a tension. And those store neatly in this little compartment here. Everything is stored right in there. It just sits on the floor. It's nice and heavy so it won't tip over. And like I said, the little hooks on the side make sure that this um, lid won't suddenly collapse closed, which, you know, from the weight of your bobbin, which is this way. Um, I used it quite easily without using any tension at all because one of the benefits of having a 45 degree angle um, cape is that you don't it it's naturally tensioned you don't okay. need to tension it um, but I just I think it's a thing of beauty 
Um, I bought mine at Rhinebeck, but I had seen them at Mass Sheep and Wool Mass about yeah, nine yeah. months earlier. And when I saw it, I immediately wanted to have one. And I just love how, I love that it's handmade. I love that I know the person that made it. Like, I met him and I, I know. And I love this, just the cleverness of the design. It's all, you know, the hooks operate to keep this lid part closed so that when you travel, nothing falls out. It's all self-contained. I just, I think it's really clever. And it works amazingly. And mine is um, quarter sawn oak, I think, is mine. You can see the um, markings from the oak. I liked it because you could see the, the natural yeah. markings in the oak. And it smells really good. <laughs> but I just, I love it. Um, and so if you're interested in one, please check out the website, um, www.travelkate.com. And the designer's name, Thayer, T-H-A-Y-E-R, and Syme, S-Y-M-E. That's the man who designs them. And he does an excellent job. He has paid attention to every detail. Yeah. The, you know, the, the little... Um, what do you call that? Hinge is sunk in, like it's sunk into the wood so right. that it's smooth and just, it's, I love it. The edges are all smoothed down so that there are no sharp edges and, and it's just really wonderful. I'm going to have a special bag made to travel with this oh, that's to right. keep it from getting banged up because I'm so worried that I'm going to bang it up because it's so pretty. But you know, like my husband, he's fascinated by spinning wheels because they're a piece of machinery, right? like how they work, but he... Is he loves stuff like this because it's so well thought out. Like every single part of it has been like he thought ahead, and there's a place to put all the little posts, right. and there's a place to store the little pegs, and everything is just very it's like the hook operates in two ways, and it's just very a clever design. So yeah, check them out www.travelkate.com if you want to order one for yourself. I think considering that they're handmade, they are very reasonably priced. It's worth it. It's, it's more than it would cost to get a standard um, shacked Lazy Kate, but I think it's, I think that this is infinitely better than the one that I got from Shack. So, not to say that the one from Shacked is bad, it's just this one is like much more convenient. I had to take apart the one to travel with it, and this is always oh, yeah. the way that it is. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, Thayer Syme, for making this lovely thing. All right, so um, I think that's it. Do you want to do your finish thing so I don't take it away from you this week? It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> Last week you were like, hey, hey. Whatever. Um, thanks for watching us. We really do appreciate it. And um, knit with heart. Have a good week. Have a good week. Knit See you next heart. week. Bye.